Hello everyone, it's Rad and this is going to be a, a weekly tarot reading for Sagittarius Sun, Sagittarius uh, Rising and Sagittarius Moon for February 4 to February 10th, 2019. And these are the cards I'm going to use, the standard reader weight tarot deck. And now I'm going to shuffle the cards and while I'm doing so, uh, I want to remind you once again that that is going to be a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and for that reason is going to uh, resonate differently in a different way with uh, every single different uh, Sagittarius. So if you want your personal situation to be uh, analyzed by me through Tarot and uh, to give you a, a prediction for the future, then that will be a, a subject for a personal reading and for such, uh, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing. So cutting down the cards now, and let's see what we what you got guys. Uh, the first card, this is going to be the Nine of Pentacles, which is the topic of your week. The second card that refers to the negative approach toward the situation or shortly said, things that you should not do or how you should not take on this uh, topic here. That is going to be the world card. Then the third card, it is the positive things you can do or how you should approach that situation. That is going to be the two of swords. And the last card, it is the final outcome should you follow the advice of the Tsaru here, and that is going to be the Six of Swords. So I will leave the cards now uh, into my uh, on my table, and we're going to go through them one by one. But just from the overview, it does look like this is going to be a, a very, very productive week. Uh, a week uh, which uh, you, uh, it does depend on your situation really, but let's say that you are going to find a, a very, um, substantial solution to um, to your deeds and to your situations for that matter. So uh, let's go to the first card which is the Nine of Pentacles. So that is the topic. And what the Nine of Pentacles is all about? It's about um, joy, it's uh, joyfulness, it's about a, a very positive sensation and it's um, it's about kind of like um, being uh, being carefree and being and, and being exhilarated of how the things are developing. That is because this week will give you everything you need to make an achievement and to make a conquest regarding your situation. Depending on what you are after, then this card points that that week you will be able to conquer it or to achieve it. But uh, additionally to that, this is one of the most favorable cards career-wise. It does tell you that you can increase your finances throughout the week for one way or another. Maybe this conquest of yours is going to allow you to increase your uh, finances, financial gains. And also this card points that throughout the week you will have an opportunity to make a leap, a further development, a leap into your career matters. But how more practically the Nine of Pentacles can manifest? Well, that could manifest as the deal, all right? So you are a business consultant and throughout the week, bam, you are signing this very, very big contract with huge company for a, lot, for a, a big amount of money. It could manifest as well for that you are searching for job and bang, the exact job that is gonna pay you a, a large sum of money comes around or it could be as well your promotion. Well, basically that is a, a leap forth into your career uh, endeavors and business. Now, however, important thing with this topic is to uh, kind of like capitalize on it really and uh, being, as I said, joyful and being, um, <clears throat> being carefree. Well, basically breeding confidence. That is what is important when we have that card and how to capitalize on the, on the situation, on the opportunities that this card presents uh, to you really Sagittarius is. And uh, it's accompanied with the Tree of Cups, which is um, which creates a, a condition of passive friends. And uh, with the Tree of Cups, uh, this conquest and uh, this achievement is gonna be, um, it's, it's kinda like gonna be 
achieved or reached, excuse me, capitalized on with a, a cooperation, with cumulative work. So there are there are people there which either are going to expand your vision, which are going to give you a helping hand, or in generally is going to contribute uh, into uh, into making your situation much more easier than before and therefore allowing you to perform much much better and the very least the three of cups here is pointing that whatever effort you throw in well they will start giving results maybe not straight away but the results will follow soon after so sagittarius is that is a week in which you have a big opportunity in front of yourself either career or, or relationship wise will most likely career and you have to basically use all the connections and communications you have all the friends that you do have basically all the people that can support you through it or can uh, kind of like make the things easier on you in order to capitalize on it so going to the next card which is the uh the things that you should not do that is the world and the world speaks for um finalizing things you know reaching an ending of a cycle um culmination of one thing and different perspective comes around soon after liberation as well uh so basically what you should not do is pass obviously on that thing you know you kind of like need to develop it rather than to close it you know <clears throat> You should not seek on a, a different perspective rather than this um, this opportunity, this conquest that comes around. I mean, for you, the journey of conquering, it is yet starting and it is not ending. So it's kind of like um, <clears throat> what the world here points of the things that you should not do is not to be biased of the potential. Probably the potential is much bigger then uh, it is displayed firstly or on the first glance upon this um, endeavor and uh, kind of like you gotta be opened for uh for kind of for, for bigger ex, uh, for bigger exp for expansion excuse me um <clears throat> for expansion and sprawling upon uh upon the matter just to give you an example this time relationship you know because the nine of uh, pentacles could display the big fish d1 the person that is going to make you happy you know you should not be biased that that relationship can end or it can be just you know <clears throat> being um being on a stage of dating but eventually it could evolve into marriage it could evolve into engagement you know children family etc etc so you gotta leave the room for a potential open this is what the world here is telling you that you should not do not to close your potential but to leave it open to assume that that can go further than you are uh, expecting and then it is it is accompanied with uh, the king of swords and uh, what the card here it's um it's actually the king of swords here is helping you and it does suggest that you have to be rather more um how can i place it rather more calculative when it comes to uh when it comes to decision because as uh, um at the end the uh the nine of pentacles it's a very serious thing there is a lot in stake here you know big salary a big achievement and so on and so forth so you you need to kind of like look as uh, as a person in place what i'm trying that isn't an expression in my country what i'm trying to say is that you should look competent enough uh, in, in case it's about your career you should seem interest enough uh in case it's your it is for your relationship and once again you should seem like someone who is ready to bring it to its very very end all right or kind of like uh, someone that is ready to go as far as it needs to be gone and uh, literally this is what these couple of cards here are uh, displaying so um, it does uh, just to say here it does uh, look like for you Sagittarius is that uh, what is yet to unfold uh, kind of holds a much bigger wealth and riches than you will be aware of at the very start of the endeavor and of the enterprise and for that reason uh, you gotta hang in there uh, because even if you know 
maybe for a very small portion of you guys, the, the start could be a little bit more troublesome and, and, and harder than it has to be, you know, but you gotta hang in, in there. The next card that we do have for you, this is going to be the things that you should incorporate in, you know, that is the two of, uh, or the things that you should not do, that you should do, excuse me, when it comes to performance. And what that card really tells you is that you should not rush it. Additionally to that, the two of swords, it's asking you to maintain the peace, to maintain the equilibrium. If that involves other people, these people also need to you to feel themselves useful toward this conquest and toward that achievement. The two of swords also asks you not to rush decision making. As a matter of fact, when it comes to the two of swords, uh, sometimes, well, most of the time, information, it is not displayed straight away and it needs some time to become obvious. And as uh, you kind of allow yourself uh, and the team that you're working with or the person that you're trying to be with, uh, you allow the, the uh, I don't know how to say it in English, but kind of like the situation to cultivate itself, all right? that information is going to come around and as that information through the weighting of that information as it comes around then the right choice will become obvious to you so when you are baffled and you don't know what to do it is best to do nothing in this particular case but to analyze try to analyze the situation from on, from every angle from literally every angle because with the two of swords it breeds that before you decide well there is more than one way to look at something and therefore before you decide what to do you got to consider all points of view which touches the um the subject here if something isn't um isn't suits you very well especially if we're talking about relationships here all right uh then you have to be open-minded with this card to maintain the equilibrium to maintain the balance therefore not confronting in a, a warmongry fashion uh you know your partner business partner or relationship partner but instead uh seek for a, a calm and um a, you know calm and elaborative explanation of the plights that are created by the uh you know by the behavior or by the approach that this person is taking and so on and so forth so the peace here maintaining the good attitude the peace and the common ground are things that you definitely gotta do and additionally to that you know not to rush with any kind of decision very well displayed with additional card of the knights of pentacles because the knights of pentacles is very narrow person and that could um points to, the, to your attitude here, very narrow person, as soon as they set a goal, they, um, that person, that attitude here, excuse me, push on forth with that goal, and we do have a passive enemies here with these couple of cards, which additionally supports the thesis, the theme that you gotta be open-minded, and you have to consider other option available if you are facing a wall, if you kind of like you're not very sure what you have to do and additionally uh, to that uh, this uh, these cards here are pointing that you should not detach yourself from the situation for a second so if that is um, a, a business endeavor here you always need to keep on your presence in there and if this is a, a romantic interaction then you always need to keep um, this uh the other person in mind that you exist and that you are there for them detachment as i said it is not an option or you don't want to do it because that is the thing that is going to slow uh your process but you know constantly keeping up your presence in there in this conquest in this achievement uh is going to breed a, a significant significant results so uh, that leads us to the final card, which is the Six of Swords. So with the Six of Swords, uh, <clears throat> the development of, uh, of that situation is going to uh, place you in a state of, um, of a transformation, really. 
the six of swords is about stepping toward the unknown is about conquering new shores and it's about making brave uh, actions to improve one's circumstances so as i said at the start that this is going to be achievement and conquest you got to think when when that is done here throughout the week when the achievement and the conquest are already reached you need to also be ready to make a decision what happens after because this the this conquest and this achievement is going to open a, a brand new world for you a world that it is yet kind of unknown either this is going to be a new relationship or either this is going to be a new job career new place into your job and so on and so forth or even that could be as well you getting more money than you had until this very moment the six of swords is always accompanied with a, a bit of a fear because you may not know you know as, as soon as you start capitalizing on the result of that achievement how things are going to develop and the very well it could be accompanied with the fear that you may lose everything that you have worked with but <clears throat> that that you had that you have worked for excuse me but with the six of swords even if it seems that there is a, a very big risk here involved, in reality, the risk is very small, almost negligible. What the card it is actually all about is to test your courage. All right, so you got to trust past this threshold. Uh, and uh, just to give you an, an example of that, let's take on a very unsuccessful person someone who is always shy someone who uh, doesn't have a strong presence and so on and so forth and throughout that week they uh, kind of like reach a, a big amount of success a big amount of uh, of conquest a, a big conquest and that defines that they will be with a different status from now on in this society and they have to accept this new status although they may be afraid that um, this status doesn't suit them that they are going to do something wrong in there and so on and so forth so basically with the six of swords here it's uh it's all about you it's not even taking on the responsibility guys but it's all about you taking um taking the things to the brand new level right and making the necessary steps even to even if they are toward a, a bit of an unknown direction to uh, improve the circumstances that you are finding yourself at at the end of this conquest and of this achievement and the additional card here this is going to be the 10 of uh, the 10 of one so we do have an active friends which means that this conquest is going to bring on its own very uh, very uh, big responsibilities on your behalf a uh, chores as well you know it's basically many things that you need to attend so what we see here is that the conquest it is the only first step of that entire cycle of development and as soon as you've done that conquest and that achievement there will be <coughs> so much things to be maintained that it will require your huge devotion and even if you are afraid at the start you know that you may not be uh, capable you know to maintain everything if you actually give your best Sagittarius is you will see as I said that there is nothing that you can be afraid of and lastly with these cards uh, if you do things right a, a huge position of power is awaiting you at the end of this road that you are gonna embark throughout the week February 4th to February 10th 2019 so that being said Sagittarius this was your weekly tarot reading for February 4th to February 10th 2019 I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again that was a general reading for Sagittarius star sign and for that reason as it is a general reading it's going to resonate differently for every single different uh, Sagittarius however if you want your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot cards um, that is a subject of a personal reading and for personal readings you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there you are going to find a full list of my services as well as their pricing rat signing out now see you next time bye